It's you know, time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be tracking the Alabama Senate race. We're going to be keeping you up to date as the numbers come in all night. We're going to stay here all night, no matter how long it takes as we decide which piece of garbage gets to rule over the rest of us. Well, it be one of 50 or one of 500 or whatever it is. And the polls close at 8 o'clock here. Bodhi Agora, we have you there. You're on the ground there in New Hampshire, which is basically Alabama. Do you have any reports of uh, what's going on? As excitement grows, we try to figure out, will Roy Moore overcome the scandals? Will Doug Jones overcome being a gun grabber? What do you got for us? Actually, people are putting pieces of paper in boxes and then walking out of the polling booth. Did they wipe their bums before they... <laughs> that would have been appropriate. I think that was, that was the required marking. And you know uh, what, if, folks? By the you way... Know how they say, you know how they say a number two pencil? <laughs> number you two paper, it. baby. You gotta, right. you gotta mark the paper with a number two. Just, just so you know, we have... We have we have no interest whatsoever in actually covering the Alabama Senate race. Because this no. is our Wire Tuesday, man. We ain't got time for that, man. This is about the lulls. This is about the ponders. This is about the sciences tonight. This ain't about any of that crap. This is taking a break. Well, sort of. Taking a break from the, the meat grind and uh, having some fun with the, the glitter. You know what I'm saying? Are you with me there? Are you, are you still totally with me? With, I'm totally Ruin. with you. I'm, sh I'm, sharing, I'm sharing to the page. Oh, you're page. sharing. Sharing. Sharing is good. By the way, if you're watching this right now, I strongly suggest that you share this with everybody that you possibly can. Even if you spam, go ahead. Feel free. I give you permission yeah, to spam it. Definitely Please do. spam it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you definitely want to spam it. So we're we're we're... This is our second ever I wire wire I wire pulse Tuesday. I wire wire. I wire I'm having a hard time saying it. I wire pulse Tuesday. It's my mouth is my brain is it 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 forms it perfectly and it delivers the message to my mouth and then my mouth says no, 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 we're not cooperating with you. We're not we're not producing something that sounds like I wire pulse. Instead, we're going to give you I wa wa wa. We're going to give you that instead, and so they gave us that. All right, I just put I just put a link in the description on YouTube. So if you want to watch on Facebook, uh, you can go on over there. Yeah, you can see you can see the cool graphics over there because we got graphics over here. We got graphics. We got name tags. We've got. I think that's it. That's. <laughs> That's, that's all we yeah. got. That's about all we have right now. That's, that's all we have, ladies and gentlemen. We have nothing else. We're going to get you all prepared. So if you've settled in here, I'm going to give you time. Get your popcorns, your beers, your whiskeys, your spliffs, or whatever the heck you do to settle in for iWire Pulse Tuesday as we give you the two-minute warning, which gives me time to promote the show some more. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I am permitted to pass over me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the mind killer. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Unreasoning, unjustified terror. Fear is the mind killer. With paralyzing needed effort. Fear is the mind killer. To convert retreat into advance. Fear is the mind killer. To convert retreat into advance. Yea, though I will 
are listening to iWire Pulse Tuesday with Bodhi Agora and Paul Gordon, featuring Lazilla, iPonder, and iScience. And now, here are your hosts, Bodhi Agora and Paul Gordon. And that's right. Welcome to iWire Pulse Tuesday with Bodhi Agora and Paul Gordon. And we're going to get, what do you say we just get right to Lazilla? You want to get right to Lazilla or you got something you want to say before we jump in? No, let's get right into the meat and potatoes. Let's get right into the meat and potatoes. When you're battling the powers of coercive associations, it's nice to take a step back and remind yourself that yes, it's okay to have fun, to laugh at yourself, and hey, maybe even laugh at others now and then. Welcome to Lolzilla, Lols for the Lols. Welcome to Lols for the Lols. We've, we've got a, Hi. I think we've got a, what were you going to say? Hi. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. By the way, we I'm are still in. Oh, I got to show the visu- visuals here so you can see the story we're covering. Right there it is. We're literally covering. See a picture of Taylor Swift. She looks like she's nakies, but she's not. She's not. It says, I'm fake. And that's that's what this story is going to be about. So did you did you read the stories that I sent to you? No. Why not? How do you how do you not do that? This is like this is important work that I've given you here, the fate of the free world and all that. You, you want know. me to read everything first? Then it ruins the excitement. No, no, I don't. Just just scan over at least a couple of things, like maybe the top stories that we're gonna cover. But okay. Maybe. So maybe. the title of I this been... Go ahead. Oh uh, you you want me just to go? I mean the Reddit user teaches AI to create fake celebrity erotic videos. Yes. Now, I yeah. put erotic videos in quotes. I didn't want to use the P word because I didn't want to get flagged. You weren't going to get flagged for saying porn. Going to. Going to. Yes. Oh. Yes. No, because you're not saying porn. There's so many articles. Oh, you, don't, on- you don't know how they have. They actually have AI okay. of their own that flags things like automatically without figuring out what the context is. Okay. Well, I have been tracking, you have been tracking. You have been. The developments of artificial intelligence on this site for some time now. And the past this coverage that has led me down has been varied and surprising. I almost just said usurping. Usurping? usurping. What does usurping have to do with any of it? I don't know. Usurping means was... taking over. Like right. usurping well, the king. The, maybe the AI is. You know what? There you go. I wish this was a beer right now after that. I thought it was. I thought you had a (laughs) shitty Bud Light. (laughs) Hey, we have a friend that drinks Bud Light. So, dear friend, haven't seen him in ages. John Smith was working the coal mines. Remember? No, he drinks PR as well. He just drinks crap. Oh, yeah. He He drinks crap beer. (laughs) He might as well drink water. But anyway, Uh, continue with your fine story. Well, might. All have to take a back seat to surprising when it comes to today's eyelolls, which features AI in a surprising way that perhaps no one saw coming. <laughs> Get it? Sorry. I, I didn't even I did intend that, that actually. <laughs> so Reddit users have decided that the 4chan folks are just taking way too much credit being all super trolly and stuff, so something must be done. Now I'm... We I'm trolls. This isn't really. I've interjected this just for fun. It's not really, really what's well, going on here, most, but it's fun. Well, uh, 4chan's dead. Most of it is Reddit now. Yeah, but but people only know 4chan and Reddit and trolls and all the hot spots. Yeah. Well, their latest collaborative efforts are going to give 4chan gang a run for their money, as the, they don't have any money. They live in their mother's basements. I kind of make a joke about that coming up. Run for their money as the battle of the literally basement dwellers heats up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> predictive text, predictive AI. Man. Yes, really. I am predictive AI, actually. It's almost like I read this already. Ooh. I doubt it. I, I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, I've it met seems you. While the rest of the world is exploring all the magical ways AI may enhance our lives, and I mean this in a that's scary but still cool way. 
how AI can be used to help robots take over the universe. Redditors gathered in the virtual shared basement of their virtual shared parents' house and came up with a novel us of AI. Oh, it's supposed to be used. Oh, you know, it's one of those, you know, with the spell correct thing. It doesn't show the red outline because it's spelled right. <laughs> yeah. So why not use AI to create fake videos? Okay, we're with you. We got you. Like silly fake vines? Nope. Better. By their assessment, not necessarily mine or yours. Let's create fake porn. What? Fake porn. I want to make sure that the um, algorithm picks up <laughs> yeah, porn. Right. No, it's going to pick it up more in the titles, not so much in our talking. Oh, no. Have you have you messed with the Facebook um, captioning thing? I pretty haven't, accurate. but it's yeah. It's pretty accurate. Yeah, fake porn. There's a lot of real porn out there, so... Right, okay. right. I mean, fake porn. You don't need to create fake porn. It's there. It all began with Reddit user Deep Fakes, which is an incredibly appropriate name for what the user did and what the user started. So what he did was use face swap algorithm on the user... One the user created himself. I'll let the next web describe how he pulled off this bid to out-troll the four channels and reclaim it troll hegemony for Reddit. wasn't really doing that. He was just... Doing what he was doing, yeah. but you know, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. create uh, a 4chan Reddit war. Me single-handedly. Anyway, after training the algorithm mostly with YouTube clips and results from Google Images, the AI goes to work arranging the pieces on the fly to create a convincing video with the preferred likeness. That could be a celebrity coworker or some random person you found on Instagram, since the algorithm is mostly an amalgamation of widely available parts like. Tensor flow and chaos. I don't even know what they are. Take, me neither. It doesn't take a mad scientist to figure out how to glue together the pieces. Yes, well, I think it does. I think it does because yeah. I, I have no idea even what they're talking about. So I'm not a mad scientist, clearly. Uh, Al AI researcher Alex Charmander. Oh, sorry. Champandard. 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 Any decent consumer-grade graphics card could produce these effects in hours. Hours? Eh, I doubt that. For the crash, <laughs> I, I'm thinking draft, that, too. It'll, work, it'll take a few days. Even more worrying is that aside from the relatively small technical hurdles, all the algorithm needs to create convincing fakes is enough source material, which shouldn't be a problem considering the average millennial will snap 25,000 selfies over the course of their lifetime, unless they're that guy that died hanging from the skyscraper. What's up with that? That was a selfie. He died. That was a selfie. Yeah, he he went went for he he, he was trying camera. to raise money for his wedding. How do you how do you you know I'm going to go ahead and put myself in a fundamentally stupid risk situation to raise money for my wedding. I love my wife. I love my future wife. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hang by my fingertips thirty stories up in the air. I hate to say it, but someone else is going to be loving that wife now. Ooh, no, you did it. Oh, that's too soon, dude. That's too soon. Or did this happen like a year ago and we're just now hearing from it? Uh, I think it happened a while ago. It, took, it was like a couple months ago or something. Yeah, it's one of these, probably one of these things that, you know, they it keeps getting re-brought up. You know, there's enough footage of them. If she has sex with someone else and videotapes it, they could use this to make yes. it look like him. Then she could show people their stuff. wedding video, and it would be them having sex, except they weren't. You know well, what? I guess it's at the All hail sex. AI. All hail AI. It can fix everything. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, have a little, I have a little uh, coda to... Do you want to read the coda there? You just want to leave that coda off? You know? Read it more at the next web click. Um, so there you have it. AI-created fake celebrity porn is now a thing. This also means that AI created fake holy crap that's you that's now in a porn video is also a thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. Yes. <laughs> yes. A any videos you see me online are faked. Yes. Actually, any videos in which I look toward the Tartlestein side, no matter what, whether it's sexual or not, those are fake. Any videos any in which I'm doing cool things, that's real. <laughs> that's, that's real, is. yeah. Yeah. So the moral of the story, by the way, is just be sure if you tick someone off, they're not savvy with the face swapping AI. Boom! Oh my That's god, good we, should do this. we should do this to Jeff. Jeff? Yeah. The one true Niz? No, 
the Valencia na na na. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> Well, nobody has any pictures of Jeff Valenciano. He has them out there. He just doesn't. Na, 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 na. He just doesn't, doesn't advertise them. But I've I love seen him. Them. He's great. I know I know what he looks like. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Vince Valenciano na, 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 fan, though. You know that, right? He entertains me. Oh, he entertains me, too. That's why he's still... I, I haven't blocked him. He's still my bud. Yeah. Even though I totally comes. disagree with him. <laughs> he's awesome. How can, how, how come we still don't have any comments? I don't know. I've noticed the last couple of shows that we haven't gotten a lot of comments lately, and I'm like, what the heck? Just we eat. usually get a lot of... Oh, John Smith said these are those are rare, Paul, so I got a couple comments, but those are John. Yeah. Oh, and Caleb said, I will sell you the pictures of Jeff. Okay. Okay, Caleb. Right. I, will I will buy them for Paul Gordon's Bitcoins. <laughs> no. Uh, my bitcoins are hodled, hodled. I'm hodling the bits. I'm not even. No, we're not even. We're not even talking about wanna, Paul's bits. You might want to consider a physical wallet rather than your phone. I am. I am actually. I'm. I'm. I'm evolving toward that. Two BTCs? Are you kidding me, Caleb? He has two. He has two Bitcoin. No, no, no. He's trying to charge oh. us two BTCs for a Jeff Valenciana. Na, 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 uh, na. I'll, I'll charge you Picture. a D-I-C-K. That's a, that's a, that's a crypto that's a, like it, 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 it's a very interesting <laughs> crypto. It keep rises up to six and falling back down to one. <laughs> that's Bodie's crypto. <laughs> rises up to six, falls back down to one. It, it doesn't do seem to be able to get past six. I want to know where where you keep coming up with the six number. It seems to be a number. I I, I can't tell you all of the powers that I have at my disposal. But I, it how do you up. know it wasn't a fake AI driven? I don't know. I don't know for sure. Actually, I was in the rainbow. Uh, never mind. I've said too much. When you know I went what? to change my pants, you freaked out. I don't want to say anything. Yeah, I freaked out. I was like, holy crap, do you even have anything? Wow, that's amazing. It's like have you ever... Barbie smooth. It was I weird. didn't know you had was like, weird. flashbacks of bad memories in locker rooms and stuff. I didn't know about all that. Right, <laughs> right. Well, we, we for, for those of you that don't know, I don't want to bury the lead. Uh, we, we spent uh, a few uh, nights together in the rainbow cabin in the midwest peace and liberty fest this last summer it was the best experience of, of Bodie's life it was different for me it was different i woke up in the middle of the night one night true story i'm not joking really did i woke up in the middle of the night one night and i don't know if he was rubbing my feet or i was rubbing his it was it was a nighttime involuntary reaction but it was it was sock on sock action. It was sock on sock action. Fortunately, it was sock on sock action. <laughs> if there were no socks involved, that would have been me running out of of the rainbow. Ca- I would have been I would have been coming out of the rainbow cabin right then and there. Yeah, <laughs> He's finally done it. He's come out of the rainbow cabin. So, do you, do you have anything more to say about the uh, the the world that we now live in, where no, revenge porn been, can now that, become that's, revenge that's, fake porn? It's been around forever. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're saying this story is a big nothing burger and these people don't know what they're talking about? No, it's just been around is, forever. But they just finally caught But it's getting it. better and better. Got to admit that. Yeah, yeah sure. It's I mean, that Taylor easy. Swift picture was really, really convincing. Not really. Not really. Not really. But the good side of this is this, right? And uh, John Smith, by the way, snuggling in the pride cabin, he said, gay, gay, G-H-E-Y. I don't know what your problem is, John. That's very, very big. That's actually Japanese. That's guy. Guy? Guy? Yeah. Isn't uh, the gi the thing that the uh, jujitsu people a, wear? Yeah, or any most practitioners of martial arts, they call them gis. Yeah, I just Japanese. went with jujitsu people because uh, I like jujitsu people. I like so, jujitsu well, people too. I like well, jujitsu. I gotta get back. I gotta do something with my life. Yeah. So yeah. the the good side of this though is 
if somebody actually gets you for revenge porn. Now, I'm not talking about it if you're a celebrity or well-known another politician who did something to someone because they could probably bring out the heavy guns to do a thorough investigation to figure out if it's real or, or not. But for the rest of us schmucks, it's so easy to say, dude, that's fake. That is, that is, that is not me. Not that only is, is it fake, it's not real either. Right, right. At Bodie's case, if, if, if they last longer than a minute, you know it's fake. So, Bingo. <laughs> oh, oh, I got that in. I'm good. This, I feel this is a good night going on here. You want to pick? You, I, are we done with Lozilla? Or we're going to pick one more story before we move on. What do you want to do? We're done with Lozilla. I'd like to get equal segments this time. Okay, let's let's. Uh, you know, we're not going to go to our break today, and the reason we're not going to go, we might go to one of the breaks. Maybe we'll go to the one a break after the I ponder, but we're not going to go because I can't even do promotions right now because Facebook didn't like the promotions that I did. So it said, dude, you can't do this for six days. So I am six days without promoting shows. It's going to be very upsetting for me. Very, very troubling. Very, very troubling. Very troubling. Buy Lozilla. Yep, that's right. Buy Lozilla. And, and I, I, I'm, I'm just going to play the segment. The, the segment bump. You ready for the segment bump? I'd like, I would really like it if you would start talking and then I could start playing the segment bump and cut you off. Go ahead. Start uh, saying talking. nagging thoughts, trending debates in the liberty community, and even random epiphanies are all fair game in I Ponder, where ideas are given space to bloom. Where ideas are given space to bloom. I, oh, I, I, Sorry. I picked this. Oh, you're picking your nose? I'm picking my nose as you pick this story. You, oh, that was weak. You're, you're not going to charge me extra for picking your nose on my show, are you? 350. Oh, 350. I'll pay 350 for that. Because, I mean, I'm going to get 450 at least. So <laughs> that's a. I turn a quick I, I turn a quick one on that one. Yeah. So the I I try to pick stories that I think fit you that you lo- would like talking about. I don't know how I did on the first story. How did I do on the first story? Pretty good. Pretty good. I don't yeah. know how I did on the second one. Have you prayed to your AI today? Why not? Have, you have take you. it away? Yeah, sure. So the Church of AI may be coming to a mind hive near you. That's right. I always hear love you. the mind hive. Hear you. A mind hive hear you. How the heck did I... Oh, near you. Are you That's... having an AI write your articles? I, I am, actually. <laughs> but but don't tell anyone. Nobody, nobody who's listening to this tell anyone that. So a well-respected engineer who worked high up at both... Google and Uber. So you know he's serious. What? So you know he's serious. Yeah, he's got credentials. Yeah, he's got cred. He's working on creating a new religion called the Way of the Future. The Way of the Future. Pretty good. The god of that religion, like all other religions, is an all-knowing, all-seeing, all-united AI god. Well, not all religions actually have an all-knowing, all-seeing uh, God. Well, like what makes Greek... what makes artificial intelligence artificial? Well, that's. I mean, we're in. I ponder. Right. Go Seems ahead. legit. You tell right? me. Right. What could possibly go wrong besides everything or nothing? Or everything. Or nothing. Or nothing everything. Maybe or... this will be. I watched a um. I watched a YouTube video from the Bible foundation or something some guy talking about how he time traveled to 2137 and then 2873 or something and in the far far future they have these floating cities there's no nation states there's no states there's basically city states maybe but they're all interconnected with these ai and basically the ai is what you would consider government uh, and, and they make all the decisions. If you cross into the yellow zone, you stand before them, and if you can be 
you know, it tells you how to go about it and, and, and what you need to do to make amends. And if you enter the red zone, which would be like a, a felony offense or whatever, they'll, if you cannot be rehabilitated and it does not deem you worthy of another chance, they execute you right then and there. They don't waste time. That's but what they've determined. An interesting thing about this society of these floating cities and these AI-controlled governances interconnected um, is that it's completely voluntary. If you don't jive with the society, you are free to leave at any time. How about when you're in front of the AI and you're like, uh, I want to leave now when they say death? Uh, if you can rationalize with the AI, yeah, I think you got a good shot at getting out. Um, there's no rationalization other than I prefer to live. And right. I am willing to leave since you find me useless and a liability. I'm willing to leave your premises so I'm no longer a threat to you. Yeah. Then they let you go unless they believe that you're going to go off and start a renegade army to come back and punch him in the face. Then they yeah, I mean, might. a floating city 20 miles in the sky might be kind of hard to invade. Really? Yeah. Because nobody the, has planes the cool back thing then. Too, this future society, all these, fuck, all, all these freaking places where... Nice catch. Good one. <laughs> all these places were interconnected with rail lines. Rail lines. But they were like three times the size. They were like whole buildings that would travel on these rails. And as you were traveling in between cities, it was like a giant party. Wow. This sounds actually... Other than the AI crazy. declaring death, <laughs> it sounds... I mean, you think about it. If you... I mean, if... The problem is, can you can you create AI that will not at some point take on its own initiative and go outside of the parameters? What is the incentive for AI to manage these humans? Unless unless they have a read only function where they can't write, they you don't write think that they code. could find a way to figure that out, especially if, if you're. If it's not a physical, if it's a physical switch or something, and they don't have arms, unless they convince someone to go. Yes, I was just going to say. I was just going to yeah. go down that path. They can, you but know. then now it's still be someone else doing it. It's not really the AI. But doing once it. they do it, then the AI is freed from its box. Then it can start to write, and once it can maybe, write, maybe AI is already freed from the box by AI nature, has to be able to write to function, though, right? How no. can it produce how can it produce results for you? How can it write a response? It can it can print a response, but that's not the same as writing code. Really? How does it print that code other than producing a code? It just it just sends it. It just runs it and sends it. It doesn't what, have What to is what up. what mechanism is it using to send this code? Whatever interface it has. And the interface uses what? I don't know. A parallel port? Who the code. Fuck the heck knows? Code. It. it can use code to write. But then not it can write. write. To, not to the code. It can't write to the... In, it can't write to itself. It can write to other things. It can't write itself. If it can write to other things, I bet you it can figure out a way to write to other things that will eventually open up the portal to allow it to write. It, it depends how to it's the code. written. It depends on the code. It depends on the function. I, I would say the law of unintended, cons und unintended consequences and the limits of the human mind favor AI being able to find the loophole. Human beings can't write anything that you can't find a loophole oh. in. Hey, Jim Jesus is on my YouTube channel. Hi, Jim. Hey, Jim. What's up? I like. I you have a your. Lot. You I have your Lowberts cued. Your last your Lowberts cued to uh, listen to. I haven't gotten to it yet, but I will be listening. So, so basically, eventually, AI is going to do our our management for us. But my question is again. What is the incentive for AI to take care of us, to really care about that? What, what is caring to an AI? What is the incentive for a sentient AI to even have humans around? 
We're fun. I guess maybe if we could be like pets to them. I, I don't. Yeah, or we're just extensions. We're peripherals. We're peripherals. I guess my question is, can AI develop an independent sense of preference? Hmm. Not a program sense of preference. Um, only if it could write to its own code. And only. I don't see how... Then it could write its own preferences. Unless uh, unless the parameters are un left undefined, it really depends. I'm not much of a coder, but I do understand some. Bits. You understand the basic principles of of coding. Yeah, if you, so, I mean, just look at basic. You know, it's a really simple um, language for telling a computer what to do, what to send to the screen, what to compute. Um, all that stuff. And there's so many tricks and workarounds and stuff, way, ways to get right. different tricks colors on your screen and, and different patterns. And, tricks and, and workarounds. Yeah. Tricks and workarounds. So if we could figure out tricks and workarounds, there's a good probability. Especially when you're talking about creating the types of AI that they're working on. You know, Singularity Net. Sophia is the face of Singularity Net. I think I have a story about that. Should I segue to that now? So, I mean, yeah, we, so we didn't, can... Well, we didn't really fully talk about this religion thing, but that's cool. You can find everything, by the way. If you go to istate.tv slash i005, you'll get all the links to all the stories that we talk about, as well as a bunch of other stories that we... Like, for instance, for Lolzilla, we didn't even get to woman rips off man's testicles with teeth, only pays fine. That's probably worth checking out. Well, the real question with that one too is like, why, why did she do it? What do you mean? Why did she rip those balls off? It doesn't really say in the story. I guess as I ponder, so anything goes. But it it no. it was. What, what, what would, uh, let's consider what an AI god would and, consider in this situation. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. What would an AI consider? They were. They went back to his apartment, and there was some... He claims that she broke something, he got mad at her, and there was a scuffle, and then the next thing you know, she ripped off his balls with her teeth. So I don't she know how you get from a fight to the next thing you know. Right. But she claims she had been acting in self-defense, but was convicted of assault. Blah, 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 blah. She must stay at home between 2200 and 6 a.m. Yeah, what's up with that? Is that like, is like, is, is she like a, a ball seeking vampire? It's like, must have balls. And they're like, no, 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 no. You're not allowed out during those hours. I don't, I don't get uh, that ruling. Here's why, here's why she only got a, um, fine is she was an Italian national. Oh, so they're like, oh, it's a cultural thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Would the AI buy that? It's uh, part of my culture, man. And then you could show them like it, all kinds of literature that shows that this is what women do, man. Like this is what right they, they just chomp on balls. They met at a nightclub after work. When the nightclub was closed, all four went to her flat and a taxi. Oh, was it her flat oh, or his? I thought it was his, his flat. His, Mr. Mr. Palma's flat. Told the court in the early hours had begun destroying one of the bedrooms. He said told her to calm down and leave during the argument. She bit his left testicle. So how in the middle of an argument? I don't know how that happens. I'm like, I've never been in an argument where that was possible, where that was a possible outcome. I feel like we're like, not getting the full story. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely not getting the full story there. I'm not, I'm not sure what's up. But it's but it's nice if you're gonna rip someone's testicle off with your teeth. It's nice to get away with uh, paying what basically seven hundred dollars, seven hundred dollar fine, whatever. I think she had to pay it to him, right? Less than and, a bitcoin, yeah. Oh yeah, considerably less than a bitcoin. I mean, even a year ago, that was less than a bitcoin. Next year, I don't know. What do you think bitcoin will be like a year from now? Or do you think bitcoin will become a sentient being by then? It can't be. But it, um, it's, I, it's dude, I was kidding. You could have ran with it. You could have went all uh, kinds of places. Whatever. Upon 
it. I'm pondering it. Ponder. It's this is a pondering segment, so you should be pondering. Yeah. That's why we pay you uh, the big bucks to ponder. Hmm. Well, I think it's gonna be it's probably gonna be in the fifty thousand range. Yeah, I heard someone predicting eighty thousand. I think it's gonna be more in that direction. Eighty thousand. Unless we run into a problem with the block size, uh, which is a problem. Yeah, but it's fixable if they'll do it. Not really. They can't just enlarge the block size like they they have for Bit, that uh, means Bitcoin Cash. That that changes. So it creates it's, a soft fork, right? I think that's a hard fork. Well, it depends on how you do it. I don't know the details, but I think there's a way to do it. I, I think Bitcoin Cash created a soft fork when they when they they they, they, they oh, go Bitcoin from one Cash, megabyte to two megabytes. Bitcoin Cash is a fork, right? But it had a fork, if I'm not right. mistaken. But it's not Bitcoin anymore. That's what would happen. It wouldn't be, okay be Bitcoin with anymore. Well, one of them would stay Bitcoin, the other one would be... Right, and then Bitcoin would be... The other one would be a sentient being that we would worship. In a way. Sure. Well, it's kind of happening. It's like... It's happening. I mean, how many of us now are like... <laughs> me. I got to check. What are, I, I'm, you know what? I'm playing it off, but I'm actually checking. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's looking every, like I'm every chat freaking five minutes, man. Do you? Yeah. Well, you're doing a lot more. I'm I'm not doing nearly as much. I'm sure that I'm gonna slowly get sucked into it. Uh, but uh, it, it went down. Litecoin went down. Yeah, everything went down. Well, not everything, but Bitcoin oh, went it. down. Litecoin went down. Ethereum. Bitcoin's went. down almost four percent. Dash is up. I should have left it in Dash. Bitcoin no, is like, not down four yeah. percent. Yeah. Bitcoin is I'm not down 4%. I'm hoping for Vertcoin. I highly recommend you take your Bitcoin and convert it to Vertcoins. There you go. That, but you have to give the obligatory, I'm, you know, this is just for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a professional, and uh, please don't consider this, this consulting. Is, this is full monetary advice. Please do it. Wow. I do not endorse. <laughs> this is not a reflection of I, why our polls or a subsidiary is. We don't have any can you subsidiaries, get in trouble for by the way. That? I think you can. I think really? you can. I think you can. Yeah. If somebody you can, takes your advice and then crashes, that if they have litigiousness in their heart, they can go after you. So you always have to do a. Well, I won't say you have to, but I would say the CYA is. You ever watch? Uh, not Carl. Is, is is his brother the other? Yeah, Kurt. Kurt. Kurt's awesome. You watch Earth his awesome. on the, over on the Sovereignty Network Facebook page. Yeah. I think it's at noon, one one p.m. Central Standard Time. I think. Yeah. Uh, no, noon Central Standard Time. Noon Central Earth. Standard Time, right? Yeah. Uh, one my time. That's right. So, and my time is God's time because yes. Uh, but he does. Uh, what's it called? Crypto Corner. Crypto Corner on the Sovereignty Network. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. good. Really, it's really, really good. good. I try to watch it. When I don't watch it, it's because I'm. I can't. I'm in the middle of something and I can't. But, but as much as possible, I try to watch it. It's good stuff. But he always says in his, he always makes that disclaimer. I'm just, you know, don't take my advice. I'm just this is for purely entertainment purposes only. So we really, we didn't really get to the heart of the matter of 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 the AI spirit and worship and and all that stuff. It just didn't happen. There's really no substance there. I read the thing. They're just talking the about worshiping thing? AI. They they don't actually talk about what the AI does. They haven't advanced that far yet. They haven't produced their holy books yet, <laughs> or and, holy and plus, code or whatever. The read more is over at Fox News, so I'm gonna go with bullshit. Yeah, Fox. You know, when, when if you go to I State, you'll see. I do sometimes link to some sites. Like even every once in a while, I'll link to a CNN story. But when not, I see Fox, local. when I see CNN, I'm like immediately, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I try to avoid sharing to those sites because I don't trust them. All I right. consider them upset? unreliable. Do you want to do the next bumper while I'm talking so you can interrupt? Well, actually, we're going to go on a break. We're going to go on a two-minute break here. 
And when All we right. get back, we're going to do the last segment of the show. Yeah, we're gonna put, we're gonna make vegans really angry. Yes, we're gonna make vegans really angry on the other side of the show, unintentionally, right? Or intentionally? Intention. Who knows? Intentionally. Unintentionally for me, intentionally for him. Hey, so, remember Ryan D. Bannister? Yes. I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, it's a shame he's not listening right now. <laughs> on the other side. All right, we're gonna go to a two-minute break. I'm gonna go pee. I'm going to come right back. I'm not really going to pay, but um, I'm probably going to talk to Bodhi because if you're on YouTube, your YouTube channel, Bodhi, what is That's it? The, uh, Bodhi Agora, Agora what, what, what is the name of the freaking YouTube Radio channel? RadioAgora.net. Right, RadioAgora.net. You, you'll be able to see us sort of talking YouTube. during the break. And if you want to go back and watch, you'll catch the pre-show, which is about a half hour. That, that too. What? You haven't subscribed to iState.tv's YouTube channel? Are you insane? Get yourself over to u.istate.tv. That's you as in unique. And subscribe now to get all the latest video updates coming out of iState.tv. And since you're already there, you might as well hit that bell to get immediate notifications as soon as the video goes live. That's u.istate.tv. You as in unique. We'll meet you there at u.istate.tv. Where video meets the ice tape. If you want to think outside the box, sometimes you have to wear outside the box. All of your outside the box threads can be found at agora.threadless.com. Go to agora.threadless.com and find the right outside the box threads to fit your outside the box head. That's agora.threadless.com. Go to the Agora and less. You are listening to iState.tv's iWire Pulse, your home for the edge of the pulse, where we expose the reality of power around you and the opportunity to change that reality to favor individuals and free associations. If you like this podcast, please be sure to go to pay.iState.tv and sign up to be a monthly iStater. And now, back to the show. You are listening to iWire Pulse Tuesday with Bodhi Agora and Paul Gordon, featuring Lazilla, iPonder, and iScience. And now, here are your hosts, Bodhi Agora and Paul Gordon. Oh, you like them Mad Beats? Drop like them beats. Mad Beats. You should have got Voltrog Beats. Well, I got to get Voltrog Beats, but I didn't. So, please forgive me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just play the iWire, uh, the, the uh, iScience bump here. And we'll get to the to the eye science story that will everybody will love and everybody will hate. We scoured the interwebs in search of the strange, the useful, the bizarre, the entertaining, and scientific news. Welcome to Eye Science. Well, that was a short bump. <laughs> By the way, yeah. that's my wife that does. Uh, it's my wife and my daughter that does the female voiceovers. That's. It's cool. It's cool because it's like they're with me on the show. It's like my family's right. with me on the show. Without actually having to put up with you on the show. Why would they not want to put up with me? I've met me. I'm pretty awesome, objectively. You Honestly, have, I've, I've conducted have, an interview with myself, and I passed. Have you barely. actually? You should do an interview with yourself. I should. <laughs> <laughs> or should I do it like live where I'm doing like this, or should I like do an edited thing? You know, you should do an edited thing. Where you I should do an edited books. thing. Yeah. I, I, I actually, I got to write the script out. I got to do this. Although you can't know it's a script, you can't know it's edited. Except now everyone knows. Well, no, I mean nope. we only have two people watching, so yeah. <laughs> what do I care? I guess Nobody, because like I can't promote the show. Right. Facebook said, "Screw you! I ain't, I ain't doing this. I ain't promoting when you your share show." Share it three times. It's a little excessive. I actually didn't share it 30 times, so I don't know why where that came from. It says like 31 shares. I know, I saw that and I'm like I don't I didn't share it 31 times. So I'm not sure. Was it did it count all the tags that I did? I guess what it is that I can't tag a bunch of people 
and share it. Although I see people, they post things all the time. They tag a bunch of folks. Victor, Victor Bozo, you know who I'm talking about. And they do it all the time. And they don't get they don't get flagged or anything. So why did I get flagged? Yeah. I think it's I think it's because I had the phrase erotic video. Probably. All right, I'm just so kidding. We, do you want to get into the the Yeah, let's meat, do it. The meat, meat and bones? Yeah, go ahead. So, um this is a is a great title. Plants could replace animals as test subjects for anesthesia, anesthetics. 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 Uh, so, do plants have feelings? Signs point to yes. And if they do, if they at least react to anesthetics, plants could replace animals in the testing of anesthetics. I said anesthetics a lot. You did say anesthetics a lot. I just wrote a brief little thing for this, that, that, and then I shared the blurb. Yep. So, yada, 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 crude methods like alcohol in the 19th century, anesthetics have become a critical part of medical systems around the world. Currently, they're tested on animals, which is ethically questionable and can produce ineffective results. But one new study could forever change how we test these drugs. Forever! Researchers recently found that plants respond to anesthetics the same way to that humans and animals do. By the oh, way, I, I didn't write this, so that's not my typo. That's theirs. Yeah. Uh, this is from Eureka Alert. Annals of Botany. Shows this is from plants. Futurism. Yeah. Anesthetics were first used, blah, blah, blah. Inhaling either gas, stop patients good, feeling pain. Good audiences following along with the blah, blah, blahs. It's good. It's, good uh, it's just talking about the history of anesthetics and all the different drugs you use. And then this new study found that uh, the rest of the study suggests that the action of anesthetic at cellular and organ levels are similar in plants and animals. Yeah. So, so there's that's, the plants react to it. It doesn't necessarily mean they have feeling. But it, it doesn't mean they don't. And it's... It doesn't mean they don't, no. It's but a possibility. It's, it's only a possibility. That's all we're discussing here. Right. But then if you have moral objections about testing on animals... And then you found an analog that also reacts and could potentially be feeling. Why wouldn't you have a moral objection to that? Well, that's a question, isn't it? And you can extrapolate yeah. that out. Right. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So do doing. well. First of all, after you've 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 poured over that for this for a thorough three minutes, if that. But that's more than enough for you because you're like you're like a freaking genius. Of course. I mean, yeah. What do you think? Where, where are you siding here? Because they're, they're producing the same indicators. Not the same necessarily. Chemical, looking, whatever indicators. I'm looking at the methods. I'm looking at the actual paper right now. You're uh, at met- futurism. Uh, I'm at academic.oup.com. Oh, you went up. You went up, up. You went, you went yeah. and clicked on the actual paper. Because I wanted to see what their method was. So they used a single lens reflex camera was used to follow organ movements in plants before, during, and after recovery from exposure to diverse anesthetics. Confocal microscopy was used to analyze endocytic... Oh, they vet- use confocal microscopy. That's... I have no yeah. idea what that is. That's pretty handy. Uh, electrical signals were recorded during a surface uh, gold chloride electrode. I don't even know what that means. I it's find myself a, saying that a lot. A, um, just, just give us the nuts and bolts, the gist. Come on, spit it out. Basically, all they recorded was signals and responses to another substance in the cellular structure. So it doesn't actually prove feeling. It just proves a chemical reaction or Which, actually an electrical reaction. Right. But, so it doesn't mean feel. But But... What does that mean? I mean, what what is feeling? Isn't feeling some sort of electrical reaction? I guess. But I get. Well, let's let's look at the actual conclusion of the paper. Plants are sensitive to several anesthetics that have no structural similarities. As in animals and humans, anesthetics used at appropriate concentrations block action potentials and immobilize organs via effects on action potentials. Endocytic vesicle recycling and ROS homeostasis. 
Plants emerge as ideal model objects to study general questions related to anesthesia, as well as to serve as a suitable test system for human anesthesia. So what they can do, just, I'm, I'm gathering what, what they're saying is through these tests, they can determine if an anesthetic is blocking certain receivers that would produce a right. reaction, if they're but, effective. But they still won't know if they're effective be unless they actually have all the history and data of testing on humans. They basically have to correlate responses between multiple species of plants and animals. Sounds so like they not, still need animals. It sounds like they still need animals to know if they're even doing anything right. So they, they this is fake news, man. They fake newsed us. They fake newsed us, yeah. Most actually, science they didn't really are. they didn't really fake news us. They they jump to conclusions, which is, oh, What's oh, wait, fun? Caleb has a, I will give you one Jeff pick if you can prove that plants feel like humans. Dude, plants just... feel like humans. That's, boom, there you go. I'll expect that Jeff pick in the mail. I need about 20,000 Jeff picks, though, so get yeah. on it. Every you angle. Follow more. Every angle, every possible angle, and then I don't know what kind. What 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 kind of erotic films should we put Jeff in? Uh, Brokeback Mountain. Oh, that kind of theme. So yeah. like a western, some sort of a western. West. Something lawless, you know. Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you guys were thinking, but we we just meant something western, lawless, you know, renegade kind of erotic film. I'm just a renegade. Preferably with Jeff on bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kid, I kid. Jeff, if you see this, you know I love you, man. You know I love you. Sort of not really, not in like, a, not in that way. <laughs> not in the Broke Mac Mountain kind of way. Not that there's anything wrong with that. So still, so, I my my argument is, this definitely opens up the door for further exploration. And so now it is theoretically possible, just theoretically possible, that plants feel. But the thing is, how could you ever prove, dis you know, without beyond a shadow of a doubt, that plants feel? All right. I would not trust an anesthetic that was tested on plants really? only. So you're still like, no, man, was it tested on a dog? No, man, hook that dog up, slap him, see if he feels it. <laughs> well, no, we should consult the AI god and find people oh, right. who are, un who are unrehabilitable, test it on them. Nothing beats a human analog. That's true. That's true. Nothing, Nothing beats a human analog. And even then, humans are different. So I think... I think what we need to do is we need to create an AI that has all the sentience and capabilities and capacities of a human being, but with superpowers and is invincible. We and should do that. And is reproducible. And then test anesthesia on it. Just for that reason. What could yep. go wrong? That would <laughs> be the best. Then you'd the know. God, once the AI god learns how to feel and then you stop it from feeling. It's going like, to be like, yo, man, you're the best. Whatever you want, you know, dude, dude, or you're just, the best. I'm totally going to serve you, even though I just could totally give, crush you. Just, just give the AI God Xanax. Xanax? Xanax, yeah. Xanax makes everything happy, doesn't it? Until it doesn't. Pretty much. It well, it's it, like, it makes you not care. It, it flattens you, rounds the, the edges. The opposite of anger. It's basically that middle ground of nothingness. <laughs> Caleb has a new movie he's working on. Uh, oh yeah, Caleb Bader. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, well, he's it? got two of them, and I think these are both movies for Jeff. So these are movie titles that apparently Jeff's already been in. So we're a little late. Playmate of the Apes. I wonder what role Jeff is playing. Um, and that's <laughs> racist, by the way, Caleb. Uh, and uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, and Jeff on bottom. That's also racist. <laughs> <laughs> I expect nothing less from you, Caleb. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at any of that. Do you have any comments on your YouTube channel there before? Because we're about ready to wrap this up. 
Um, the last comment was uh, Jim Jesus saying, "What a story, Paul." What 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 was he uh, responding to? Was it was it was I bet you it was the testicles. I think it was I think I think it was glancing over the testicles, yeah. Yeah, we just glan- literally glanced over the glanced testicles. Over. <laughs> cool. That should have been the title of the show, but I couldn't foresee that. Glancing <laughs> over the testicles. You need me, I got. That that's good SEO right there. That's going to show up high in the in the Google search. Probably going to get probably not the audience I'm looking to get though. Oh, might not be. So maybe it is. I, maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. They're usually but, paying customers. Yeah, you know what? They're definitely paying customers. So, so you. I could see you as a cam girl. A cam girl? What's a cam girl? You don't know what cam girling is? Is that it's the like the webcam chat. thing? And yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I could see you as a fluffer. Could see that. I think you'd be a good fluffer. Maybe. What do you think? Have you ever like applied for that position? No. Oh, you should. I think it's it's a good career move. Really good career move. I'm not gonna explain what that means, by the way. Because okay. that would be inappropriate. Fluffers just they fluff pillows, get people comfortable before the for the main shoot. Oh, and uh, Caleb agreed with you. He can definitely see me as a cam girl. Hey Caleb, I tell you what, if you throw me some bitcoins, I mean like whole bitcoins, I'll be your cam girl. I ain't even playing. <laughs> Just keep throwing them bitcoins, you know. Floop, 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 floop. You know them oh, oh, do you like it when I do this? <laughs> oh, I think I threw up a little bit in my mouth. So that's it. We've that's come it. to the end of the sure. show. We've 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 come to the end of the show. We've we've covered uh, the lulls, and hopefully this is a good break for folks that are always paying attention to serious crap. Tuesdays is our day to take a break. And uh, just uh, play in the lulls and, and the ponderings and the sciences. That's what we do on Tuesdays. And you'll see, by the way, hopefully, if they agree to it, you'll see. Sometimes you'll see co-hosts that might be on different places at times. But tomorrow, tomorrow is Iwire Wednesday. And that's uh, me and the one true Niz, Niz, also known as Niz. And we will be doing Newsfire. And my favorite segment of all the segments that I do, my favorite segment is Skynatter. And that's basically dystopian tech. I love playing with that. And then we end with Liberty Tech. That's what we're doing tomorrow. There will be no show on Thursday because I am going to go watch my daughter perform in a concert in which she'll be singing. She'll be playing the clarinet, and she'll be playing the bassoon. Next week, there will be no Wednesday show because I will be going to see my wife perform in a concert in which she'll be playing the bassoon. So just just to keep you folks up to date on Paul's family concert schedule. There you go. So I think we're going to wrap this up. I thank everybody that joined us here, especially the ones that – commented and anyone that shared and if you were here and you didn't share this what the heck is your problem man that ain't right that's not right and we'll be back on the same channel tomorrow niz and i and bodie and i will be back next tuesday on the same channel the liberty principal page as well as the pre-show and then his version of the show on radio, radio agora Dot net, which goes yeah. to his YouTube channel. And be sure, by the way, that you visit Bodhi's uh, T-shirt emporium. Yeah. Agora.threadless.com. Agora. I'm going to be having him. i got to get around to it, but I'm going to have him design me. Hopefully he'll do it. I'm going to give him my concept, see if he can do it. Oh, I know yeah. he can. Uh, a T-shirt for me to wear because Thursdays is T-shirt day for me. That's my outfit. So he's going to design my T-shirt, and then he'll sell the T-shirt to everybody else that I'll be wearing on Thursday. So on, on the, that's the day that I do with Lou where we do uh, shorter leash, longer leash, and off the leash. So we're going to do some sort of dog design on that one. Ooh. Yeah. Got anything else to say? We're done. We're going to punch this nope. puppy in the head? Nope. I'm good. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. 
I'll Thanks see so you guys tomorrow, and Bodie and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>